Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match once again between Snugglebase and Rymark, which happened, as far as I can tell, after the previous one. Hands of Woolbase ended up winning just by pressure. So now we're on to hide and seek. One of my, well, it was one of my favorite maps. I'm actually kind of turning sour on it. It definitely at one point was one of my favorite maps. Oh, can I think of it? I don't need smooth. I need this smoothing out. Otherwise, it's going to make you all sick. Oh, it is smooth, smooth mesh scrolling. Okay. I apologize for anyone who gets seasick while watching this particular game. Anyway, Rymark is... Well, I'm not going to focus on the players yet. So this map, as I've shown before, it is a map with... You have valuable resources over in the corners, all the corners. In the center, the resources are about half as valuable, and also in the main base, the first mechs that both players are taking, as you can see, that is about twice as valuable as the rest of the metal extractors near their starting locations. Overall, though, it's a very hilly and cliffy map. As mentioned before, it's... Yeah, you can see it's got a lot of height variations going on. So, without further ado, let us begin. So yeah, most players, what typically will happen is players will take their base, and then if they're playing Spider or something, they'll have to play Jump, so they're probably playing Jump right now. They are indeed. Playing Spider, they'll typically try to take the center ridge and try to take these hills. Usually, though, players will expand in their main base, defend it a bit, and then push back while also taking the sides and then try to pressure their opponent in. Mostly it's, I mean, as you can see, very choke point based. Unless you're playing spiders or to a lesser extent jump bots, these choke points here are pretty hard and fast. There's not much you can do about them short of terraforming them down. And that's fairly expensive. So right now, Snuggle Base just sending a few bandit scouts in while Rymark also sending in, well, getting a pyro, presumably as a scout, hasn't sent it in yet. Okay, seriously, this is with smooth mesh scrolling on? Wow. Sorry about that, I'm just, Kind of surprised. I thought that smooth mesh scrolling would be a little bit... Oh yeah, it is. Wow. Anyway. So Snuggle Base is going to be able to spot out Rymark first. They know... I mean, at this point, both players know where they are. The other player... They only have one spot they can be. And nice little initial harassment from Snuggle Base. Not bad right there. Able to get rid of one of the metal extractors pretty effectively. Just don't lose that bandit. If you don't lose that bandit, that's even more efficient. Nope, that bandit's gone. A little early though, so they couldn't get rid of any, metal, of any energy, and this bandit's going to be far more useful than the northeast side of the map. Taking out this metal extractor, taking out this Freaker. Nothing. To, well, the Freaker can slow it down. The Freaker does have a slow gun, so it's not like it's going to be completely defenseless, but... Well, it is still pretty defenseless. The best you can do is slow the bandit down, jump away onto the cliffs, and then rebuild once the bandit goes away. Which it isn't doing. Why is Rymark... Okay, Rymark's now jumping away. There we go, that's what I wanted. That's... That is what Rymark needs to do. And Snuggle Base continuing to harass around with bandits, making sure that Snuggle Base cannot get anywhere, at least not for free. That's the thing. And here, no, Orphelius, I'm not played against Saktoth here. Anyway. However, it is worth pointing out that Saktoth's advice of target the energy when you're attacking the main base, that does generally hold. Although, at this point, it's too early in the game for that to really happen. And as you can see, good pyro attack from... Oh, well, pyro attack from Rymark. Looks like it didn't... Got rid of a Lotus, but that's about it. Damaged a bandit. Didn't do much else. So, Rymark needing to retreat with that pyro. Doesn't want to lose it. While well, at the same time, these bandits are containing Rymark in the back. Rymark cannot expand the way they want to. They want to expand these metal extractors. All four of these. That's what they want to expand to. They have this plus 2.7 over here, which they can still take, but that's not the same at all. It really isn't. But it looks like even with that, we do see that Rymark is... Well, not too far behind. But they're certainly not going to be able to harass their way into the game. They, they are going to need to expand. They're going to need to take out these bandits pretty quick. Getting yet another Freaker, sending it back. Rymark doesn't know? No, Rymark doesn't have radar over in this area. They don't realize Snuggle Base has already just staked it out. So that's not going to work out too well. This Freaker, hopefully Rymark's paying attention and will call this Freaker back as soon as the bandit's spotted. Because if that bandit's spotted and is not reacted to, this will not work out well. I can assure you of that. And no, it doesn't look like Rymark. Are they going to respond to this? They're not responding to this. Their Freaker is going to go down. This Freaker is just now running away, should be able to jump away in time, but still, that was really risky. Ended up spending a bit of metal on there. Did not lose the Freaker, though. That is key. That Freaker still survived. Rymark was on point enough that they were able to get the Freaker out of there. 
but that was close. That was way too close for comfort. Now at this point, Rymark, do they still not have radar? No, Rymark does not have radar. Snuggle Base does have a bit of radar around their base. They aren't super aware of what's going on inside of Rymark's base, though. They have a decent idea, but not much. Anyway, Rymark is, well, able to get this area freed. So they are able to take the northeast, but well after Snuggle Base has taken their southwest and generally a lot of expansions of their own. So at this point, Snuggle Base is, as you can clearly see, quite a ways ahead economically. There is a fair amount of reclaim, but overall, Rymark does not have that stable of an economy. And with a good set of bandits coming in here, although admittedly that's a good set of metal coming in, but at this point, yeah, solar collectors you can't easily harass. They can be closed. That will help. But at this point, these bandits are in a very tight spot trying to get through here. They can't... Oh, that placeholder can be taken down. Well, no, not really. It can be pushed away, but that's the best that can happen. Oh, and now it's actually extremely vulnerable, being on reload time while the bandits, unfortunately... <laughs> Throwing it to its own black hole, I have yet- I've never seen that before, actually. Never seen a placeholder walk into its own black hole like that. If it weren't for the Lotuses, it would have been dead. The Lotuses are the only thing keeping that alive, and now Rymark able to defend its base- or able to defend their base. Not yet taking the Northeast, though. Surprisingly, that's the more- that is the most valuable set of expansions. They need to take that as soon as possible. As you can see, Snuggle Base has taken theirs- why is this not showing up? What the heck? Hey, that's really bizarre. That expansion is not being registered by the metal extractor spot. Widget. Very strange. Anyway, that strange bug aside, Snuggle Base is way ahead economically. As you can see, like, one and a half times the economy. They have about the same military, though. They've been spending all of their economy on getting more economy. At this point, though, they're getting the caretakers up, they're getting- actually, they're also accessing. They're getting the caretakers up, they're getting the workers up, they have everything they need to just start pushing everything out of this factory. Are they gonna go for a Felon Ball? I don't know. We do see Rymark going for a Sumo, though so Felon Ball would be an extremely bad idea. Racketeers, however, would be great. Felon Ball would be- t they would be suicide. <laughs> if they went for a Felon Ball right now against the Sumos, they don't know it yet. But if Snuggle Base were to find out, and they knew that there was a Sumo coming in, they would not go for a Felon Ball. And at this point, they're continuing to go for Bandits, which is perfectly fine. It's a little risky to do against the Sumo, because the Gravity Guns on the Sumo do mean the Bandits have a hard time actually doing much. But otherwise, it's fairly straightforward that way. But it looks like we do have the Sumo up, we have the Bandits out, we have no other units, and Jax as well. So yeah, this is a this is basically the counter to the Felon Ball, but the Felon Ball has not even been hinted at at this point. That would be, actually at this point, a hard read. And that's not gonna happen. Like I said, it's just, there's no tells for that. There's nothing that's at all hinted that anything other than Mass Bandits is the order of the day for Snuggle Base. And indeed, that is exactly what is happening. Snuggle Base coming in with the Mass Bandits, well, coming one at a time with the relatively large group of Bandits, spread out. The the rabble of bandits. I'll call it that. It's a rabble. Oh, that's a good group name. A rabble of bandits. I gotta remember that. They're like a murder of crows. Although, admittedly, you have more than one crow in this game. You're probably already winning. But yeah. A rabble of bandits. I like it. Anyway, so this rabble of bandits over in the north is moving in, able to harass very effectively, that sumo, the thing about the rap, using a set of bandits like that, the sumos, yeah, okay, the gravity guns do cause a problem, but that's assuming the sumo and the bandits are actually intersecting in any meaningful way. At this point, they are not. At this point, all the bandits are just going off their merry way. The only downside being there aren't enough bandits to actually kill anything anymore, being that they are indeed a rabble and not a properly organized group. This rather ended them. I'm afraid. However, another rabble of bandits over in the eastern side of the map, a better organized rabble this time around, is going to be able to get rid of the entire northeast side of the map. And Rymark, at this point, their military is entirely concentrated in these three units. That's 3,000 metal right there. They have a few pyros as well, which is another, that's 1,600 and half a dozen pyros. So that metal value up there is basically these three units and half a dozen pyros. Now, the bandits, like I said, are going to have a bit of a hard time dealing with this because gravity guns. 
Gravity guns cause a big problem, and sumos are extremely resilient. Oof. And of course, jump bot coming in, tearing it apart. But overall, as you can see, it's just bandits smashing into the ground after being thrown. At being flung into the ground. Back and forth. Ouch. Entertaining, but painful. Yeah, the best bet against this would be Racketeers. That's exactly what Snuggle Base has built. That's what I mentioned earlier. Building Racketeers is exactly the way to go. And there we go. The Rabble of Bandits over to the northeast, tearing apart that base, tearing apart all of those expansion, well, tearing apart all those metal extractors, and then going down here too. And it looks like it is going to be. Well, it's going to be coming down to this, really. Like Rymark depends entirely on this sumo and these. And these jacks getting in. That is entirely what everything here depends on. If those get in, and those deal the damage they need to deal, then it's going to be death. Oh wow, one of the Racketeers already going down. Disarm, just about one more shot and fully disarmed that Sumo will be in. The Sumo is now fully disarmed. The Jacks, however, still posing a problem. They can be disarmed fairly easily though. But the Sumo is the target of choice, and the Jacks able to get in for free, getting rid of the Racketeers. This is where the Sumo is going to fall apart. Like, if that Sumo dies, then Rymark they're going to not win. If the Sumo actually hover lives, how long is the Disarm? Disarm is over, and now able to get rid of all these bandits, slamming them into the wall, getting rid of all of them, I'm gonna follow their deaths. Man, I'm so glad the Newtons were put on the Sumo. So cool to watch. Anyway, so at this point, the Jacks, however, are separated from the Sumo. The Sumo doesn't have a whole lot of energy left, but Rymark can still stop Snuggle Base from getting a larger army and rebuilding that banded army. However, with every jack that dies, that is yet another, well, thousand or so metal that goes down. The Sumo here with the Pyros, I think this might do it though. I think Rymark might be able to pull back and make this mini series 1 1. I mean, at this point, let's look at what Snuggle Base has. Snuggle Base has a lot of economy in the southeast side of the map, has a ton of reclaim they're pulling in. They're actually low on energy. They don't really have a whole lot of defenses here. They have the defenders, and that's about it. Probably turn off that. They have the defenders, that's about it. There isn't a whole lot besides, and their commander or snuggle base, their commander's up there. But Rymark has pretty much defense busters by definition. They have jacks, they have sumos, they have gotten more jacks, and yet another sumo, so two sumos on the field. And now that Rymark knows where this is, they could easily jump on all these bandits and just slam them into the ground, killing them. They aren't too worried about that, though. Far more worried about just tearing apart all the metal extractors. Are they going to get the Southwest? I think they are. These Pyros should be able to survive and kill the Southwest. This is going to be a problem. Oh, and Drone is asking about Go. Okay, so I play Go from time to time. And the thing is, I'm a bit surprised that n fewer players, there aren't so many players who play 0k or TA based games that play Go. Because if you think about the way that territory works in 0k, in, well, TA games in particular, 0k is just the case I'm looking at right now, it's actually very much like Go in the sense that you have the set of territories. You can think of units and such as groups of stones, well, units and buildings and mechs as groups of stones. You have. I, I often talk about territory that units have, or that players have that's kind of under their control, especially I've refrained from using the analogy of live territory for an area that's basically completely impenetrable. But that's also something I've always wanted to use because, well, it works and it is a go term, but it works here too. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I think you can take from go and apply to zero K directly. So I'm really surprised there aren't more go players in our community. Apparently drone is the only one. That's a little sad, actually. It's a good game. A little wonky, though, because it isn't based on winning. It's based on territory control, having the most territory when the entire board is filled up. So it's a very different style of game from chess, for example. But in terms of the territory control aspect and how you have to think about what stones you have and what stones you can put down before your opponents put them down to take more territory, there's a lot of aspects of soft control that are very relevant in 0k. And are very relevant in TA-based games in general. So, worth noting that Go is probably a good game for anyone who wants to be good at 0k to at least have some familiarity with. That aside, Snuggle Base, they were able to push back that pressure, but at some cost. And looks like, despite that... Wow, okay, having gone for the gunship switch, having gone for the rapiers, they're probably going to win this. 
Taking out the northeast, uh, the northeast was rebuilt, but not as well as it could have been. The north side is not really rebuilt. There's still areas that Rhinemark has taken. Wow, that's easily five metal per second that could be taken that isn't. Rhinemark, they're focusing very much on just trying to win with the sumo. Looks like they just want to rush him with the sumo, kill everything, and have no anti-air to deal with this either. A little surprising, too. It's been 40 minutes into the game. The fact that there hasn't been an air switch before this is surprising, but now it's definitely the case. But Nope, the sumo... By the way, the sumo does not really have any way of dealing with rapiers. I should point out, they they don't. The bandits are a problem. The jacks look like they're trying to jump and hit the rapiers in mid-air. Not a bad idea. Rapiers do fly low to the ground, but even then, I don't see that working. This is not going to work at all. This sumo is... This sumo is dead. There's no easy way out of it. That sumo is basically going to die, and I think at this point, Snuggle Base is going to win. I'm not sure, though. But... Okay, I am sure. It's... Like, at this point, Snuggle Base has twice the economy, twice the military. Rhymark is no easy way in. They couldn't break in with the first sumo. They couldn't break in with the second sumo. It was just died. And they needed to break into those sumos. They needed to take apart the factory. They needed to take apart the main base. They didn't manage to do that. And, of course, there's the entire area over to the east side of the map. They need to deal with this as well, and they, they, don't, they don't have the tools to deal with that. Unfortunately, they are still going for the sumo jack. Are there archangels in queue? Surprisingly, no. Surprisingly, Rymark instead going for amphib plant, which I guess I guess it makes sense to get anglers. They're getting boys primarily. But they're going to have to deal with a lot of rapiers. How many rapiers are built so far? There's over a dozen. 14 rapiers have been built so far. And Snuggle Base is basically going to win the game with those. Rymark is not prepared. They have no anti-air. Surprisingly, they have jump. They have Archangels and Anglers. Both quite good anti-air. Archangels in particular. They have none of them built. I don't understand this. I mean, the boys are doing a pretty good job. I mean, the boys are good at assault. They're skirmishers and decent assault units. Especially given that they slow everything down. So, as you can see... The, re the reload time, the fire time, and all that stuff becomes a lot... Actually, I don't think the reload time is affected. Not totally sure, but it doesn't matter. Because, actually... No, the reload time must be affected, because slow affects rate of fire. Anyway, the point is... Well, the Snuggle Base is more, more slow. That's the point. Snuggle Base is more stuff. They have Rymark surrounded. I don't really know why Rymark... I mean, I can see why Rymark's doing this while they're going for this one section, trying to take that out. I don't know if they realize just how far ahead Snuggle Base is. There's a threefold, eco a threefold economy advantage, almost threefold military advantage, and positionally, Rymark has nothing in their main base. They have nothing to work with. Well, Snuggle Base, I mean, they have they have a dozen rapiers down here. They have a dozen rapiers over to the north, or nine rapiers, but nearly a dozen over to the north. They can take out everything in one go. At this point, Rymark has got nothing. And this is it, and Rymark realizing this throws in the towel, and we'll have yet another game between the two of these players in just a moment. The game that happened immediately after this one, which I guess they were going for first to three? That's all I can think of. That, or they were just playing three games and then switched out. I don't. I think most people actually play first two, whatever... I'm probably projecting from a fighting game experience. Like in fighting games, people will typically ask for sets of first two whatever. No one really does that here, despite the win counter being readily available. I don't think people are really in the attitude of doing that. That's not the mindset of the, of the community. Anyway, that aside, on to the next game. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment, considerably faster than last time. I think I have the memory leak or speed issues sorted out. Stay tuned.